Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make a dark theme toggle in Angular. First, create our component using this command, ng generate component test, and let's go to our component, the HTML, and then the TS file. Make sure you select the selector, which is app.test, uh, app and add a tag of it to your app.component.html, and okay. Next step is to go to your browser and search for Angular material. Go to get started part and scroll down to get this command. Uh, I recommend to run this inside a uh, command line, uh, whether you're on Windows or Linux, not on a VS Code. Uh, choose the theme and then yes to animations and typography. Okay. And then uh, you're done with your Angular material installation. Let's go to our app module.ts, and uh, as you can see, all the APIs have been imported right here. Okay, let's go to our HTML file and uh, add some layouts here so we can actually uh, add our toggler. Uh, first one is a mat site nav container. Uh, make sure you uh, have this. Make sure you add this tag, and then the class should be. Uh, site nav container and then inside this container we need another tag of mat site nav content make sure you have all uh, these uh, tags because uh, I'm actually involving the necessary ones and then inside it mat toolbar inside this toolbar we should add our toggler which is mat slide toggle Okay, all right. Make sure you have these tags just the way it is here, unless it will not affect, okay. And uh, let's go to our app.module.ts and make sure you have uh, these mat slide toggle module unless or your toggler will not work. And make sure you uh, do not render these tags inside body or HTML tags unless it will not be rendered at all. And let's take a look, as you can see, it works, but the toggler has no uh, method. Uh, let's go to our SAS.SCSS. And what we need to do is to add some Angular Material things here. Let's go to Angular Material and go to Guides. And here we need to select uh, Theming Angular Material. Okay. And there are some lines of code to be added. Scroll down, and the first one is this in the, the core mixin. Uh, copy the whole thing and paste it inside your SCSS. Make sure it is SCSS. And then right here, uh, the default colors of Angular Material, copy it as well. Okay, as you can see, these are the default colors like primary, accent, and warn. And the other one is a theme, which is a by default the light theme. So let me copy it and paste it another time here because I'm going to actually create a dark theme as well. Okay, and this should be dark. Okay. And in order to uh, make these guys effect, we need to create a style for each one. So let's scroll down here and create a theme dark class and then a theme light class as well all right and when uh, we are applying theme dark we need to include uh, the my theme dark class which has been created here and for light we need to apply my theme class which is right here. Well, we are facing this issue because we need to copy the whole thing. I mean, cut it and put it at the very first of our global style sheet. And then the error is gone, as you can see. And the last step is to go to our TS file. Let me implement on init at first, and then our ng on init function, and then our constructor. First of all, we need the firm group. Uh, so we can actually access the toggler inside our HTML file. So let me call it switch theme. And it is equal to a new form control. Okay, and the value is false. And this uh, should be 
find it here, right here. The tag is from control and it is equal to switch theme. Okay, let's go back here and then we need to actually find the class name of this toggler. So we need to apply host binding of class and let's call this class name. By default is equal to an empty string. Okay. And also we need a, a class name for our dark theme. So let's call it dark class. And then one for our light class. And dark class is the one that we uh, declared here, right here, theme dark. Paste it here. And for the light, this one theme light. Okay. And the very last thing is to add this inside our engine in it. Uh, whenever our switch theme changes the, its value, we need to subscribe it. So inside it, we need to check if uh, the class name is true or false. If it's true, it should be dark and it is false, it should be light. And here we need an overlay object of overlay container inside our contractor. Okay, and we need this conditional here. It says if current mode uh, was true, we need to uh, call this overlay and then get container element and then class list and add the dark theme to it. Okay, unless we need to uh, remove it so we can actually go back to the default light theme. Let's go and test our app. The slider works perfectly. That's all, thanks for watching.